Join me at the bar today when we make the LG Matter version of the Cosmopolitan. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today is a fast five minute episode just for you. It's our very first one actually. And here we are down in the rec room in our home bar instead of the kitchen. Today we're going to make the perfect cosmopolitan. Now this is my husband's recipe and he would normally show you, but he's behind the camera filming all of this, so I'll have to make it for you. This is our most requested cocktail recipe. Give me a moment, I'm gonna pull my work table in and we'll get started. All right, here we go, Cosmopolitan, or a Cosmo as it's better well known. Now, if you saw our summer episode all about cocktails, you know we use ratios, and Cosmo is no different. Now I make my Cosmos with vodka. We use mid-range vodka. We like Svetka. You don't need to use a super, super high expensive vodka. You can, but I certainly wouldn't use a bottom of the mill 39 cent rot gut vodka either. We also use triple sec. Triple sec is an orange flavored liqueur. Again, mid-range one. You don't need a fancy orange liqueur or, or cordial. We like using 100% cranberry juice. Now we like the cranberry 100% juice over the cranberry cocktail because it's not as sweet and it has a cleaner flavor. You can use whatever you like. And of course, lime juice. Now, first ice in our shaker. Ratios. For one drink, I'm gonna go with ounces, which is this size of the uh, jigger. If I need a bigger drink for a bad day, I'd use the one ounce and a half size, but today we'll use the smaller side. First, two parts of vodka. One and two, and try not to spill like I just did. One part, triple sec. two parts cranberry juice. Now I'm using the juice of a quarter of a lime, which is about a teaspoon. I like using fresh lime. You can use bottled. You might just want to adjust the amount a tiny bit. All right, now we shake it. We're gonna shake it, not only to chill it, but it's gonna help the fruit juice and alcohol combine better than stirring well, and it'll certainly get it colder. Alrighty. Now ideally, you have a chilled glass from your freezer because everyone keeps martini glasses in their freezer, right? A little wedge of lime. Here we go. Beautiful. Glorious color. Since it's here, you know I have to have a little taste. Spot on. The lime juice really cuts through the sweetness of the triple sec and the cranberry. It brings it all together. It's light and refreshing and tangy and a little sweet too, but not too sweet. Now, if you're feeling very posh, and quite often we are, we amp it up a little bit. You could, if you wanted, change out the cranberry juice for pomegranate, which would be a pomegranate martini, which are very delicious also. Or, you can go top shelf. So, you could use 
a little bit of lemon vodka or citron vodka, which adds great depth of flavor. And yes, you can use some Contru instead of the triple sec, which again has a deeper, more round flavor. And it makes it just a very posh drink. All right, now that's our episode. That's our recipe. So as always, we're going to put this recipe in the end credits and video description section if you're watching on YouTube, as well as any links to any of the products that we're using. So as always, guys, ask us questions. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We're getting more subscribers every day, and we love it, so keep it up. And remember, you can check out our videos anytime you want at youtube.com forward slash let's celebrate TV. That's all the time we have today. I'm your host, Peter Lee, and I'll see you next Tuesday at 7. Cheers.